This video is a demonstration of the diversity of the Caponi pizza form, pressing different size pizza bases. The demonstration video utilizes a Caponi pizza form model PZF50 with double flat plates. The Caponi pizza form is available in five model sizes and can press anything from four inches to 20 inches. The Caponi pizza form is available with an option of a beveled edged plate or double flat plates. This video is only a demonstration of one dough recipe on a Caponi pizza form with its unique dough characteristics. In this demonstration, the pizza is cooked at 575 degrees for approximately four minutes. For additional questions about the Caponi pizza form and how it operates with various dough types, please contact us at info at pizzaequipmentpros.com or call us at 1-800-655 1831 to speak with a rep representative. More videos and information are available on our website at www.pizzaequipmentpros.com. So in this demonstration we're going to do three different size pizzas on a Caponi pizza form. This is the model 50 which is a 19.7 inch diameter plate with a beveled edge. The edge represents roughly 10% of the total size are 50 centimeters, 5, 50 millimeters. Um, we're going to do a 12 inch, a 14 inch, and a large 20 inch pizza, all using the same press. So because the press is volumetric, we're going to use a smaller dough ball for the 12 inch. a medium sized dough ball for the 14 inch and this is the 30 ounce dough ball for the 20 inch and I'm going to tighten this up just a little bit so we get the size we want And we could probably make that to 20 inch. Today's dough is a 50% hydration, double zero high protein, and it's more of a New York complexion. In other words, the component in it uh, bakes more like a New York and less like uh, an Italian flour. Um, it's actually manufactured by Central Milling. It uh, has a lot of life in it, even though I've had it fermenting now for three days. So we're gonna use just a simple tomato sauce. It hasn't been seasoned, no oil, no salt. This is a uh, Alta Cucina brand or Alta Cucina product from Stanislaus Foods. And all I've done is simply opened a can and run it through a food mill. So you can see it's just got a bright red natural sauce. Um, the idea here is to show customers how we can use one size press and achieve multiple size finished products. Got a uh, whole milk mozzarella. We uh, grated this right from the block and looks like we used a small grating wheel today. Looks like we have spaghetti cheese.
So today we're going to prepare these three pizzas all at the same time using the Caponi Max 935 oven. This oven has a deck that's 41 and a half by 41 and a half with independent top and bottom settings. And I've got the oven set to about 575 on a previous test a few hours ago. We're at 625 and it's uh, doing its best to cool down. So uh, the oven deck is ready to go and we'll load pizzas. At 3 minutes and 15 seconds, we can see the crust developing on the three sizes. The crust on the 20 inch is a little more notable. Uh, it did get into the beveled edge on that 20 inch plate. Uh, to make them look all the same, we could deliver a 20 inch press with simply all flat plates and then all the pizzas would look the same. Uh, the point here is that the medium and the small pizzas are developing nice edges and they're all baking at the same speed. We're coming up on four minutes now. I'm going to take a look at the bottom. So here's a quick peek. We've got that nice classic leoparding. Small, medium, and large. As I mentioned, the flour used today is a product developed for a New York style pizza. So you can see we've got this classic thick crust, nice color, nice color cornichon. That will be uh, something we can. Uh, test later on with a different type of flower if you'd like us to do so. Thank you very much.